Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, guys. Guess what today is? Date day! It's date day. <laughs> and we haven't done a little IRL vlog in a little, little bit, but we thought we might like to do that for you guys today. One, because date day should be fun. And two, because I think that it's probably a reasonable time to update you guys on how the family progress has been going. And yeah. I'm sorry if it's all bumpy and stuff. Well, because I'm, I'm just, I'm just sitting. There's actually bumps. I'm just sitting here with my arm right on the on the car, which is, if you guys didn't know, I think have we we have we made like a vlog about the car at all. I don't think we have. We did some social media posts, but anyway, we got. Do we you got, see that? Like, look at this. We got ourselves a, a new vehicle. <laughs> bought I bought Jenny a car. He did. So we got we got ourselves an Audi Q5. Which That's is like the dream, been, dream car. Yeah, I asked Jenny a long you time ago if you had like like if you get a dream car, what would it be? And she said it would be an Audi. So I was like, all right, well, I kept that in mind. And so you know, as, the sweetest. as part of the sort of family um, goals of the year, we we did need a, a new car, and so we got one of these bad boys, and it's been great so far. But anyway, we're taking the Audi out. We're gonna go get some food today. Mm -hmm. And then we're actually, the next thing we're gonna do after that is we're gonna go to the animal shelter where we adopted uh, Willow and Oliver, our two yep. newest kittens. And we're gonna go uh, pay for some adoption fees for people so they can- I'm so excited. So they can take home kittens for free. So the little kitties can go home for free, which is awesome because somebody did that for uh, Willow, which is interesting. So we're just gonna go pay that forward a couple more extra times, I think. So we're gonna go hang out with some kittens, see which ones seem like, uh, like good babies and make sure that those ones get to go home for free. Yeah, we're doing that, of course, because we love Oliver and Willow, but yeah. it's also something that we're able to do because of like how cool you guys have been Absolutely. doing on the street. Absolutely. And I feel like being able to like pay it forward like that, right. like I know a lot of you guys would appreciate that. So. Yeah, so we have, we, we've sort of made over the years like um, kind of we know that we're in a very, very like fortunate place, and we're very, very grateful for that. And one of the ways that we like to express that gratitude is trying to help support things that we care about. So in the past, you know, we've we've made our um, we've made our sort of charitable goals uh, have to do with like military veterans mm -hmm. or active military. We've had um, our goals be working with children who are you know struggling with di different sort of um, pretty pretty rough. Uh, situations in terms of like working with like the children's Medical hospital issues. and yeah. working with game changer and we think that this year it'll be really we fun did cancer research yeah yeah we 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 work with and donate regularly to saint jude yeah. um and so this year we're thinking that we might like to incorporate some um like animal stuff as well so this this, this this is this is going to be the beginning of it this we have baby stuff yeah we have some other ideas but we're going to yeah. do this first um because that's just something that we want to do so that's what we're gonna be doing today. So we're gonna take you through that. Hopefully, I don't know if they're gonna let us like film in there. We're probably just gonna be like, just a little bit, not sneaky, but discreet. Not make a big deal about it. Right. But we we'll probably show you guys some little kittens and stuff. And if you guys are in the area, maybe you can come pick them up for free. We'll see. <laughs> so here we are. So some of you guys ask me what I like to eat on a cheat day. I wouldn't really call this a cheat day because I'm bulking and I can eat whatever I want anytime. But I don't usually eat boneless chicken wings with barbecue sauce on them. That's what we're doing today, and I think Jenny's got something sort of, something sort of similar to that, right? Oh, totally similar. <laughs> My cauliflower with like lentil soup yeah. at the bottom. Yeah. It's really good though. So, the waitress was walking by, and, I, and she walked by us, and I was like, those look like ours. And, she was, and then she's like, oh, so she brought it back over. She tried to hand me the, the cauliflower, and I was like, well, I would eat that, but I want to eat this instead. So, here we are. <laughs> Lucky for us, the food did, didn't take but like two seconds for the rest of it to come out. So now, Here's something more reasonable is a little salmon quinoa bowl right there. And then Jenny got something similar as well, right? Uh, veggie quinoa bowl. Yeah, we're getting wild today. <laughs> this is perfect, so now I can throw I can throw my, my little chicken wings on the quinoa thing. You be are perfect. <laughs> what are you doing? We got some food, so now I feel now we're feeling good and can probably break down a little bit more clearly exactly how the, the family progress family is going. Family plans. So what's up, Jenny? Tell them what it is. Right. So as you guys know from our last video, we were talking about going in for our appointment and that kind of stuff. And since then we have found out a few things. Right. Some good, some like kind of not so good, but it's okay. It's all it's all we have a see right. the good and the you know, you know, sort of more tough things are all accounted for, which is a good thing. But anyway, yes. I'll let Jen tell you about it a little bit more. So we did <clears throat> leading up to all of this, so between February and like pretty much up until the middle of March, we've done a lot of mm -hmm. like 
diagnostic, diagnostic, diagnostic testing. So we did a lot of blood work. I've had like a few like, uh, what do you call them? Like, not procedures, like little scans and stuff mm -hmm. to check out, make sure everything's good down there. Checking and, out my dudes. Right. My that blood, happens. my dudes. That happened. <laughs> They're good. <laughs> But, um, so the thing that I knew was wrong with me, or that could be a problem, um, it was, but right. the thing that we didn't think about was that this thing was bad enough that I will require surgery mm -hmm. for us to have the best chances to have a baby. Right. So, Right, so you guys know that we're going through IVF and the particular thing that, that's going on actually uh, interacts in a negative way with IVF. Right. So by having the surgery, uh, it'll just it greatly increases our chances of having IVF be successful, which we didn't know. Right. So we're gonna get that done. Yes, so what's gonna happen is uh, starting this next month, so starting in April, mm -hmm. I'll be <laughs> doing all those little hormone injections. Oh, Jenny's gonna be all, all and, juiced up. Yeah, so. Super mom juice. Trying to uh, produce a lot of little babies. Little eggs. Little eggs, and um, then they'll do the retrieval mm -hmm. and we'll freeze them. Pluck them out? Yeah. And then I have to have surgery. Mm -hmm. So that will be occurring probably like in May. Yeah. Is what I'm kind of hoping because I want right, to get right. this done. Um, and then after I heal and that kind of stuff, we should be able to do the, the finishing stuff. The, the implantation. implantation. Yeah. So that's cool. That's exciting. It, it sucks that there has to be a surgery involved. Like I've. Yeah, you know, had to like come to terms with that. That's one of those things we, we didn't know that was going to be necessary. But the cool thing is, like I said, is there's a path forward for it. The dude, our doctor, is going to be able to know exactly what's going on. Yeah, handle business. So even this, even though there's like a little bit of an unexpected aspect to this, mm -hmm. um, we know what to do, and it's and. From what we understand right now, uh, things it, it shouldn't really derail us that much. It's just going to be like you know, surgery and recovery, and then yeah. we're pretty much ready to rock for the next pretty phases. Much, yeah, all of our blood work and that kind of stuff. That was probably one of the most interesting things. Yeah. To get back because like they test like your your glucose levels, your vitamin D levels, like all of these these things. Jenny like, got about a thousand tests. I just had to get like a you don't got any STDs, right? And I was like, nope. <laughs> Gall. but like it was just so fascinating to me to check all these levels because I don't like you know just mm -hmm. my own thing it's like oh so you've been eating like vegan for the past year right I was like man I hope my protein levels are fine my like everything like that and everything was good so far turns so that out was, like really cool yeah it turns but, out we're all right yeah so we'll keep going yeah uh, we'll probably keep updating you guys a little bit more as this goes on I think I feel like a little bit more comfortable with everything but um, it's still kind of like, Ooh, I don't know, like how everyone's going to react and that kind of stuff. That's fine. That we're, we're, we're going right along the path. We told you guys that we'd take you along with the yeah. journey. And so far things are going well and the things that were unexpected are manageable and we got this. Right. So the next step for us is to go check on some kitties and see if we can get them to go home for oh, free so today. Excited. No promise on how that's going to go either, but we're going to go check it out. This is the first <laughs> time we've done it. We thought it, we thought it would be a, a fun idea, kind of a sweet thing to do. And so we're going to go check it out. We'll see you guys there. What's up guys? So we walked around and met a few kitties. This is one of them, Toby. I think he's very sweet. So what, what the plan is now is to sponsor a few of their adoptions so they can go home for free basically. And what's cute is actually we walked in and we met one kitty who the one of the people was telling us was like pretty close to being adopted. And it turns out that while we were here, she was adopted. So we got to meet the family that was gonna adopt her, which is cool. Hello, dude. Hi. This guy was sleeping before. But now it seems like he's waking up a little bit. I think that he probably just needed a nap. I bet it's tough to um I bet it's tough to be a kitty here all day and people come look at you and pet you and stuff. I bet it's kind of tough. Maybe we'll get you taken care of too, huh, dude? Yeah, that'd be fun. But we have some kittens that we're going to be helping out as well. Hopefully this makes a difference. I know it's it's not, it's not definitely not the extent of the charity that we want to do, but we thought it might be like a fun way to start. So hopefully that'll be helpful. Oh my goodness. Hey, dude. I'm going to have some explaining to do when we get home. What number are you? What number are you? Oh my goodness. What number are you? This is a sweetie kitty right here. That's a sweet boy. Okay. Well, we'll probably have to take care of you too once you knew that we were going to.
Gonna make help you go home, huh? You give me kisses. Hey, what a sweet boy. So, so like I was saying, hopefully it makes a difference. Hopefully we're uh, helping out in a little bit, but oh my goodness. We gotta tell Jenny that we need this one too, to make sure this one's taken care of, hopefully. Hey Jenny! One second, I gotta go get her attention. Because she's talking to the people, we gotta get him on the All list right. too. So I told Jenny, so perhaps unsurprisingly, this guy actually is adopted. <laughs> perhaps unsurprisingly, he's adopted, so he's going home too. I, I don't know if that means he's already been paid for or not, but either way, we'll, we'll see if we can help out. Regardless, he has a really sweet kitty. And we have some kittens that we want to uh, sort of sponsor as well. We might have to show you them a little bit later. But of course, we have the, there's a pair over on the other side. They're chilling. Let's see if I can zoom in. There's a pair on the other side who, I'll just, I'll just zoom in over there so I can talk and not get in their way, who came in together and they're going to stay together. And they're kind of, they're like seven and maybe 10 years old, I think. I think she's 10. And the big boy back there is seven, and they stick together. So he's a big old lion kitty who helps out this kitty who is having a little bit of trouble with her vision. But since they're buds and they want to make sure they go together, we're going to go ahead and sponsor them too. So I just, I don't know, I just kind of wanted to share with you guys the ones that are going to be having been the sponsored kitties, and there's Toby, the sweet one, as well. So we got these guys hopefully going to good homes, and hopefully we'll help out with that in some small way, but like I said, we got Oliver and Willow from here and somebody had sponsored Willow's adoption, so we thought that'd be a sweet thing to do. Plus, we can come check in and, like I said, this this year is gonna be the year of us trying to want to help out um, animals in our area. And this is kind of a, a, a fun first way to do that. Plus, we get to come in here and meet, the, meet kitties and maybe even puppies eventually and try to help them go home instead of hanging out here, but so far it's been a fun day. <laughs> and uh, we at least got to meet one of the families taking home a kitty today, and apparently this guy's going too, so that's great. Here's another look at these two, because she is so cute. So they're hanging out by their litter box, just chilling. Then she I got her big friend and her protector. Look how big he is. Hi, big guy. <laughs> Hi. So they just hang out together and keep an eye on each other. Really hope they get to go together. Okay, and just for the final, the final one that, that we're gonna show some love to is this little guy. So when we met Oliver, it was in this very room and he was much smaller than this guy, but this guy is very love. So we're gonna make sure that this guy can have his adoption fee covered and be getting uh, neutered for free as well. So we're gonna make sure that these little kitties hopefully have a better chance of going home when somebody says, well, he's cute, he's lovely. And he's also for free, so we can take him on home. That's what, that's what we're hoping, but <laughs> either way, hope, wishing you the best, little dude. Okay. Yeah, wishing that's you the best. Okay. You're gonna have, you're gonna go to a very good home, and they are going to love you. Good boy. All right, guys, that was an experience for sure, man. They I'm, are so cute. I'm, I'm actually uh, surprised there weren't any like two young young kids. Yeah. Which was good. Yeah. But. So I, I think that. That's actually, I think I probably mentioned this already in the vlog. I think that's the kind of thing that I can see us doing like a little bit more often too. That would be so cool. Especially during kitten season. Yeah. There's going to be lots of kittens and hopefully lots of kitties getting to go home. But yeah, I mean, um, it, it, was, it was definitely an interesting experience, especially because we got Oliver and Willow from there. And it was like, I don't know. I feel like I'm still processing it all because I, I feel like it, it's, it's a big deal. And the family that, that was actually adopting the kitty was like super grateful and nice. And I'm just like, oh, yeah. One of the kitties that we picked out, the family was adopting them that day. Yeah. And so we just let them know we would sponsor the payment for it. Yeah. And they were so nice. We walked in and because we saw this kitty just it looked like like a lot like Stella. And apparently this kitty caught the dad's eye. And so they're going to take her home. And that's kind of how Stella worked with us is that she kind of got my mm -hmm. attention too so that was that was pretty neat but yeah that was very sweet and whenever whenever somebody adopts an animal like they, they shout them out over the loudspeaker oh, yeah. and so they shout it out so i was like no please don't dude it's they, always like like when you're at a restaurant and it's your birthday oh yeah you're just like slightly embarrassed but so they shouted us out for, <laughs> for sponsoring what was it like five adoptions and a, and a neuter for the little five guy five adoptions yeah and then we're, we're getting one of the little kittens fixed so that it can go home yeah so so, so that'll be good so i i feel i feel good about that and like I said, this is just kind of like our first little foray for the year. We, this, we, had, we had this idea, I thought it was a fun idea, so we check it out. But I, I, I feel good, and uh, hopefully those kitties all get to go home, to, yeah. good, to good homes, for sure. They deserve it. So. Yeah. All right, guys, so we were back home <laughs> at last after a fun date day. So I think we last saw you guys at the pet shelter, or Are the they, pet shelter, the animal shelter. The animal shelter. And uh, after that, we, what did we do? Well, we went and checked out another, oh, 
We have cat toys, remember? Oh, we have cat toys because we went to Petco. Because we are really letting you guys in on the full spectrum how of how much we love cats. Crazy we are. So we actually, <laughs> we sometimes, we, we don't usually go to the, the animal shelter yeah. until we have this idea, but sometimes we go to the local Petco. And because on Saturdays they have like playtime for the, the animals that are kind of just in their little areas, like, yeah. in, like in the little cat cages or whatever. I think so, a lot of you guys will see that. Their little adoption thing. Yeah. So, but, so when we were kind of in the early stages of, of the cat fever, the kitten fever that led to Oliver and Willow being adopted, we would actually go to Petco um, to go get stuff for our cats. Mm -hmm. And then we would just go to Petco under the pretense of getting stuff for our cats. And we would just like look at and see and play with the kittens that they had there. And then <laughs> with our own cats at home, <laughs> right? And Jenny was like, was was asking me like, what are we doing? Like, why are we going to look at these cats if we're not going to get cats? And I was like, right. we're not getting more cats. But what we're doing is helping them socialize. So now we're back to that. We were really, really not getting more cats because we're we're <laughs> we're adding a human to this family next. Put my foot down. But <laughs> but um, but so it, it is it is still fun to go and help those cats like. Go get love and be social and be pet so that when yeah. people do want to come adopt them, they know how to turn on the charm. So I think that's actually helpful. So we, and we also wanted to inquire about how to help that particular organization. Yeah. And we got some information on that, but we'll deal with that. Anyway, um, we also saw a movie tonight. We did. We went and saw Unsane. Unsane. That was kind of like a, a random one. We, we saw previous, like, oh, that's kind of interesting. So yeah. we just wanted to go see a movie. So we saw that. And that was pretty cool. That was another one of those, like, the movies that I like, like, like kind of like psychological, somewhat thriller esque, like, crazy like situations of like. Psycho. Yeah, it's, it's like, it starts off like somewhat reasonable. It's kind of like, um, like, uh, get out. It starts off somewhat reasonable. You're like, is this scary? Maybe it could be, but it also could be kind of normal at the same time. You go to another level, you're like, okay, it's getting a little bit weird, but do you really just like make your break for it right now? And then like shit really hits the fan. You're like, well, it's too late now. And then shit really, really hits the fan. And so that was kind of a fun movie for me. I'm always, I'm always like getting really into those. And Jenny's like, chill. Chill. So I, I get into those I kind think of movies. I, it, there's one thing about, I have a thing about theater etiquette. Yeah, I, I, I get And our whole theater, everyone was making noise and I was kind of just like, Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I don't. It's all right. I'm not gonna tell people to shush yeah. and that kind of stuff. I'm not. I'm not one of those. But... I'm not one of those guys. <laughs> By the way, we're we're home. And we're Stella we're, we're, we're vlogging excited. as soon as we got home, and the kitties are very excited yeah. that we're here. Um, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not one of those guys to like make a big scene in a movie theater, but I will be like, kill this guy. Like, <laughs> I'll say stuff like that. Like, finish about him. the movie. Not. No, not, not like, people like in the, someone yeah. being mad. I, but yeah, so like for example, like if, if there's like a like a really like a bad guy in the movie and you like injure him and then you run away, I'm gonna give you a hard time because if you have them does. injured and they're down on the ground and you still have whatever implement you use to injure them, go ahead and finish the job. Okay, it's just gonna be better off for you and everybody else involved. Oh my goodness. End of the end of the story. Because if you let him live, then bad things happen. And anyway, people in the mo people in the theater really movies would be over in about 35 minutes if that were the case. <laughs> I would be just cut that cut this story oh, off. It's you got over. him. Yeah, take okay. take him out. But yeah, people people didn't really understand the movie. <laughs> they were, they so I I don't want to spoil it, but they didn't really understand what was going on. And I was like, just 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 guys, just wait for it. You'll see, <laughs> you'll see. And then of course the obligatory, you gotta make sure you finish. Finish your kills. Execute, guys. Make sure you spam that execute button. I'm a, I'm a warrior, Jenny. I know. I know, it's I, true. I know about that sort of thing. But regardless, movie was fun. Pet thing was interesting. We kind of got some information about that. I feel really good about the shelter kitty. The animal shelter thing was so, awesome. I really hope the two um, older kitties, I don't know if you showed them. I did. I did. Um, I really hope they get adopted together. and they get adopted together because yeah. they're, they're free if you're Both in the free, area. That's right. But, um, they were so cute, and the boy cat was huge. Yeah, he was a big like, boy. Not just like fat, like he was a big cat. Like he had to have been like Maine Coon. Yeah, part Maine Coon. And I and I told you that but... that one that one gray kitty that was like that was loving on me while I was talking. Yeah, he was adopted already, and and there was, was. also also the little blue boy. We told you that 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 because like that's what we used to call Oliver was the little blue boy because of their their blue collar. So he was he was we paid for his adoption and for his spit, his neuter. So yeah. that's pretty cool too. So yeah. feeling good, good all kitty. in all, excellent date day. Hopefully we'll have to you guys go check it out again. 
Yeah, we, we oh, I, I think that this will be the kind of thing that we do more often. Yeah. I think so. I think really it could nice, be fun. So. so hopefully you guys enjoyed hanging out with us on this date day. We're going to get myself some food. I got my cheat meal, which is chocolate granola and chocolate milk. I mean, that's have, actually my cheat meal. So that's what we're having now. I'm going to make a recipe I saw on YouTube from a little family vloggers. So I'm going to make an apple pie in a bowl. Without the coconut yogurt. Without the coconut yogurt. Couldn't find coconut yogurt. Because there was only dairy yogurt and no None non of that dairy, dairy yogurt, yogurt from yogurt. Jenny. Coconut milk yogurt. But I'll be drinking myself a you know but. pint or whatever of it you know a pint or more of the chocolate milk. So that's good. Fair, fair life chocolate milk, by the way. I I fully I fully believe that in a couple of years we're gonna get some sort of you know dramatic no you, you know uncovering of information of why f uh, fair life chocolate milk is so addictive. But until then, <laughs> I'm just gonna enjoy it. So anyway, hope like I said, hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. We'd like to try to get back in the habit of vlogging yeah. more often, and this is this is kind of step one in that process. I think yeah. So for I mean this is the end of the vlog so if you've stuck it out good job but um a lot of you who might be new and don't really see a lot of these stuff like we used to do this mm -hmm. almost every week I yeah think. we've we've just um, been we've been on the grind especially with the stream that's been years ago and so mm -hmm. I've felt like we've kind of missed doing it, so well, I, mean, I kind of miss it a little bit. But uh, yeah, I, anyway. I I like making these videos, but we also yeah. talk about you know our life, and I'm on camera for eight eight to ten hours a day every day anyway. So, <laughs> so but on of, date day, it's a great time for us to kind of get away yeah. from the computer and get out and about, but still show right. what we're doing with you guys. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.